So we're here talking about one of the biggest changes we've seen in maybe two decades to West Hampstead. This is West Hampstead Square. Um, nothing here before. This was all derelict land with the railway line next door. Now we've got 198 luxury apartments. Super popular, literally right in the heart of everything. And it was actually a massive regeneration project because not just the properties themselves, but the whole overground station had to be remodeled to allow for different entrances and what we've got over here now. So really popular development. I think it was great for the area. As you can see, we've now got this luxury courtyard. Before on West End Lane, there was a small parade of shops. Um, they were quite small. They weren't overly looked after. So I think this has just been so different and so much better for West Hampstead. We've now got an M&S, brilliant for local residents. We've got the coffee shops, pool, there's offices, there's works inside. Um, yeah, overall, just a fantastic development. So if we follow round, let's look at the overground station because that's a huge change. And that took, I want to say, I can remember at least nine months, one year's worth of work to remodel this whole fascia. And as you can see, we're literally right here. Um, yeah, fantastic development. We're coming over to the new overground now, all sparkly and clean. And that's West Hampstead Square. So West Hampstead still really, really well connected here. The three stations, you've got the underground, the Thameslink and the overground. So you can get to places like Canary Wharf in less than 25 minutes. You've also got plenty of bus routes as well. So residents here still love it. So now Iverson Road, uh, round the corner from Maygrove Road, where you also have a huge new development called Beaufort Court in recent years. This is the Ivory and the Central. So we've got a mixture of about 60 units in total. There's approximately 20 in each. Um, but it's just funny, for me, I've been here maybe 10 years and there was nothing ever here. So you'd always have the Vista, you'd hear the train line more on the other side, but now, Really modern development. It's done really well for the area, brought loads more residents, which I think is fantastic. I think it's just showing how we've transformed a little bit. Whilst it's lovely to still have the Victorian and Edwardian charm, we've now got these lovely apartments. And uh, yeah, as you can see, we're, we're growing in West Hampstead. So come rain or shine, every Saturday between 9 a.m. and 2 p.m., the West Hampstead Farmer's Market takes place right here in front of the West Hampstead Thameslink Station. So you'll find everything you could need from a cheesemonger to pastries, meats, tons of fresh produce, and everything in between. You can even find fresh food such as sort of ready-made pizzas, you'll find paella. It changes sometimes and you can always find something for you. So if you haven't already, I would highly recommend coming down here on a Saturday and checking it out. So now we're very close to home because we are in Paramount Properties car park because next door we have this incredible new build development. So everything has been ripped down in the last 12 months. And now we've got three phases of approximately 200 units. Uh, it's gonna be one and two beds over five floors. And you can see now it's, it's literally happening as we speak. I believe completion is gonna be around 2024. And they're currently, I think about 75% sold off plan already. So again, another huge development, really excited for the area, looks fantastic. They'll have commercial on the ground floor and uh, this is the latest addition to NW6.
So one of my favorite things about West Hampton is the architecture on offer here. West Hampton was built and developed during the late 1800s, early 1900s, during the Victorian period. Now, to my left, just behind me here, is a beautiful example of what a Victorian terrace property would look like. It features those stunning bay windows that jut out and is often covered in red brick fronted. Now, next to it, is an excellent example of an art deco building that is what is called a bomb fill. So obviously during World War II, West Hampstead was bombed quite substantially and this building was erected anywhere between 1946 to 1950. And then we have great examples of those art deco windows, the art deco door, and it's actually a property that we had, we had for sale on the first floor here.